Today on Five Women Try, we're gonna be trying on five different pairs of jeans. You can play guitar with this. Like, what are they for? My girl doesn't end all the way down here. I can't believe I'm saying this about mid-rise jeans. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Clever Style. Today on Five Women Try, we're gonna be trying on jeans. This time, we're gonna be a little bit more casual because last time was prom dresses. <laughs> it has pockets! The bright side is, we are trying all jeans from Target. Everybody loves Target. That's five different pairs of jeans that we will be trying on in our own personal sizes and seeing how they hold up. Target is one of those places where you all know you go in for one thing and then you end up buying a million things. Just draws you in. How amazing would it be if I find my favorite pair of jeans ever and they are from my favorite store ever? You know the drill by now. Each of us girls have bought a pair of jeans from Target and we are all going to try them on in our size and let you know how we style them. And I'm gonna tell you how they fit, if they're comfortable, even if they're worth buying. And at the end, we are going to pick our favorites. So make sure you stick around. If you think any of these are genius, you can shop them in the links below. Let's go try on some jeans from Target. you guys my pick was first and I'm gonna be real honest with you I really like these jeans like a lot plus they kind of have like this 90s vibe to it which I also really like just because of the distressed feature uh, so I love a good like mom fit obviously um, just because that usually means that it's not so tight and it's not so tight especially like in the thigh area plus I can also garden and relax fit jeans, which is really my main priority in life. This is such a cute way to decorate material that right here, there's nothing you can do with this material. So I really am into the button fly in general. I'm actually shocked about how cute they look. This is a bigger hole than I'm used to. And I feel like it's more on the side of the jeans than like straight down the middle. I do love a good hole. Very holy. I love the rips in these jeans. Right at the knee, they look more natural than some jeans do when it's kind of just like slits everywhere. Like why would you have a rip up here? But I really love where these are placed. When you look at it, you're like, ah, there's a lot going on, but I like it. They feel really good around the stomach area. They're a little tight in the thighs. Other than that, I feel like you have to at least put them on like an hour before you wear them to loosen them up. I originally ordered a 10 and sadly, the 10 did not fit. So I did go out and I did buy myself the next size up the 12 because these are so cute. I think the fit is amazing. They're really, really comfortable. They're not tight. They kind of have this relaxed fit like through the leg, in the butt. I feel like they don't make my butt look entirely flat. So that's a good sign. I love the fit. I think they do something really nice for my bum which in jeans is kind of hard. There's a bit of a, you know, gapage right here, which I think is always just gonna be an issue. I'm not super annoyed by it. For jeans, there definitely isn't a ton of stretch. It's more of a denim feel, which I think can be great if they fit you well. Like if I was a little bit bigger down below, they would not have fit. I'd say be careful when you squat or lunge because you don't want to rip the pants public. They're really, really snug. It's a good fit. I'd like it a little bit more if it was just a hair a little bit higher because it's kind of sitting right there where my belly button is. Okay, she's covered. She's good. She's she's nice and tucked away. So I just would like it if it was a little bit more because I have to keep pulling these up. We all know I don't like showing my belly button. Another thing I really dig is the ankle of these jeans. It is like kind of a cropped feel, which I really dig a lot. I feel like it's the type of jean that you could wear with a heel and dress up, or you could wear with sneakers, or you could wear with boots. So many different things. I love shoes, and so being able to show off my shoes is a really big thing when I buy jeans. Are these the right shoes that I'm supposed to wear with this type of pant? I don't know. Am I too tall for this type of pant? I don't know. Is it supposed to be mid shin? You tell me. I think pairing them just with like a normal tee, even a dressier top, I would definitely do. I cannot wait to take these babies out. Um, where? Yeah, I don't know, but I'm gonna. I think this outfit would look completely cute with like a, a white crop top, maybe some combat boots. This is definitely a jean that I feel like I can wear every day and be super comfortable. I think they fit true to size, except I don't know if the length is too short or if this is 
appropriate. These are true to size. I'm usually anywhere from a 14 to 16, and these being 16, they fit. I did size up. Not a big deal. If they're cute and you want to make them work, who the hell cares what the number is? It's in the back in a tag that's this small. As long as you feel confident, like you should be able to wear them. And I absolutely love these. Another pair of jeans with a lot of distress and a little bit of holage. These pants are very stretchy, which is nice. A lot of extra room. Which I think is helping the waist band feel more comfortable. Like if you're a person who needs to get on their jeans and then like do a couple squats to really fit into them, like these are probably for you. Definitely fit to like the 16 along with the stretch, which that's usually what I'm used to when I say I like a size 16. These are the most comfortable mid-rise jeans I've ever put on my body. It's making me reconsider mid-rise jeans. Mid-rise is really touch and go for me. I really have to be feeling myself that day to want to wear mid-rise and not want my jeans to like come up to my boobs. You feel? I don't know why this happens to me, but it happens so much where it fits everywhere else. But for some reason, I get this weird little thingy majigger back here. If they were a little bit tighter, I wouldn't have to worry about the gap in the back, but if they were a little bit tighter, they wouldn't be as comfortable on my belly button. But this comes a little below the belly button where the other one came like right above my belly button, but not high high. So if you are trying to wear a crop top with it, your stomach's gonna come out with like any movement that you do. She's out. Imagine if these were just a little bit higher waisted. This would be so much better. I love this color. I've been looking for a good, crisp, cool, light blue. I have to say, I am not a fan of the color. It kind of has that like tint where it looks like it's kind of dirty, if that makes sense. I don't know why, that's just how I feel. I usually think these are too light, but surprisingly enough, I'm a little bit pleasantly surprised that I put these on and I put it with a white t-shirt and something about it just really works for me. It's a bit much for my style, the amount of distress um, on both legs, but I don't hate it. The last jeans, those are ripped more intentionally, I feel, in your knees where you would have ribs. These ribs kind of run all the way up here where I'm not trying to like show this weird part of my thigh. These I don't mind. It's just like when my whole knee is showing that I'm like, ah, okay. Why are the ribs going on to the sides? <laughs> with all the strings, I don't, you can play guitar with this. Like, what are they for? I don't know what they're supposed to be doing. I like the little, you know, the frayed hem at the bottom. It looks like it's cut, which I do really like again. Another way to show off your shoes. I don't know, these are really, really cute. I can't believe I'm saying this about mid-rise jeans. I read somewhere that if you have a short torso like I do, mid-rise is actually more flattering on your body than a high rise. I think it looks really nice. I think it like proportions my body. These jeans kind of reminded me of like country, reminded me of like the South. So I kind of wanted to put like a Southern outfit together. And so this is my Southern outfit. Overall, I do like them. I just would buy them in a darker denim if they have them. These are a size 10 and I will say these really do fit. Uh, they don't feel too tight. I'm not uncomfortable. It's more about the style than the actual cut and fit of the jean. I wish they did not have these rips because then I would definitely wear them all the time. It's not like I would size down. So I just think it's one of those things that it's true to size in one aspect and not true to size in another, unless I am not true to size, which is also possible. They're so comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's, it's cutting into me and, and doesn't feel like unflattering mid-rise. So Target, you done done it. You done converted me. This is my pick. These jeans were $29.99 and again, what a steal. I love them because the lines and the details do everything to accentuate your curves, which I am obsessed with. These are so flattering and sexy. The tag says that it like sleeks and sculpts, whatever that means. And I think it's doing what it says it's doing. Uh, these look good, these look good on my body. Love the detailed lines. I feel like that is really gonna help elongate your body because your eyes are gonna go like this to whoever's wearing them. Look at my money, but 
Don't objectify me. So I feel like these could be flattering on so many people. I like recently shaved my legs, so I feel the lines on me. And when you walk, you feel the lines. I don't know what kind of vibe it's giving me. Maybe retro. Almost like an acid wash 80s vibe, which is something I don't own. So I think it would be really cool to figure out how to style these. So the wash kind of works for these. And I am very surprised at how much I like these. I love that these are high-waisted and the pockets are truly unique. I've never seen jeans like this before. They're not your traditional, just like mini kind of fake pocket in some women's jeans. They do go far down. They've allowed you to see the lining of the pocket and it becomes a style of the jean. I like the style of the butt as well with like the thicker band up here on the pocket. And the booty pocket is huge. You can fit your entire purse back there. If you totally like this look, then you'll totally rock them and you'll look just fine. I just feel like for my shape and my give, it's not working. They are quite as high waisted as a comfort, but let me let me sit in my egg chair and, and tell you how it feels. Oh yeah, they're, they're nice and stretchy. They're not as comfortable as the jeans that have come before them, okay? Let's just be honest here. But they are extremely structured and extremely sturdy. You know those thin jeans that are stretchy? Yeah, for some reason these are thick and stretchy. They end at the perfect length, like right before the ankles. So you can wear these with boots, you can wear them with tennis shoes, and they'll be super duper flattering. These are actually a little long. I would roll them up personally, but I feel like if you roll them up, it'll throw off the line. So I didn't want to roll them up because I wanted y'all to see it. As far as fit, the 10 is perfect. I feel very comfortable. They have a lot of give, they have a lot of stretch. So I'm not gonna feel uncomfortable throughout the day. This is just such a cute, sexy fit. Maybe I would get extra length if that was an option for me. These are an eight regular. If they're regular, usually that means there could be a short or a long, I think. I would exchange these for an eight long. Just so that they go a little bit closer to that boot line. I'm wearing a size eight. They fit like a glove. They do fit like a size 16. They are more on the stretchy side. So I do have to give them that. I just don't know with the lines. I've seen a lot of people wear these and it doesn't look bad on them, but for on me, I'm like, no complaints. Love them. These aren't it. I'm definitely gonna be wearing these, definitely gonna be rocking them. I'm really, really excited. Jackie, thanks girl. So these jeans are called a super high rise vintage straight cropped jean. As always, I had to do something a little bit different. While it's not completely crazy and out there, I feel like it is a fun way, you know, dress up your outfit, make it a little bit different if you want to. These feel like the more the most durable. They're thick material. They feel like they're they'll last you a very long time. Yet yeah, they still have like just a little bit of stretch to them. I would never see these at Target and think, oh, those are cute, let me buy them. But they actually were really cute. How comfortable and kind of just flattering. This is an ultra high waist, the, high, the highest waist we have tried on today. And I love it. They're super comfortable. They're really a relaxed fit, obviously. I do love a straight leg. Leopard is like my neutral. I have shoes, I have coats, I have dresses. I really just love leopard. I feel like it's a fun, and almost like safe-ish way to play with pattern than to play a little outside of like your typical box. I feel like every girl needs a really cute print jean in their closet. I feel loose but secure. I think it's just because like the bottoms, they're baggy and I actually really like that. Normally I'm not a fan, but these, these are doing what they're supposed to be doing, guys. I don't think that these jeans are necessarily intending to be a drop crotch. Like, my girl doesn't end all the way down here. The high waistedness still kind of makes it, you know, very flattering because it, you know, hugging me mostly everywhere except my cats, which don't need a hug. These are like the most high pants that I've tried on so far in this haul. Love how high up they come. And then I love the capri action where they're like kind of like wide legged pants. So they pair really nicely with high heels. I love the way they fit. As far as high rise, they're a little bit higher than my belly button. I'd say my belly button's like right here. So they do fit at a comfortable place. And they are give in. I don't know how to explain how comfortable these jeans are. Uh, th this is, yes, oh, I like the. Maybe I'm shocked because I'm not used to being comfortable in jeans, which is sad. 
I feel like I could like them if they fit better, but they don't. This is, to me, I think just a little bit of a, a mess up. I'm not kidding, like when it comes to fit. I had to put on black, it just felt like a matchy match situation. Didn't know what shoes to pair with it, but the girl in the picture was wearing black wedges, so I put on black wedges. It might be perfectly possible too that I do not own a shoe that goes with these jeans. Like if I lift my leg up and like turn my body, then it's like, maybe. If I'm just looking at them straight on, it just doesn't work. I think it's like perfectly sized for my shape. Everything about this just feels nice. They fit like a 16, so don't worry about it. You'll look completely fantastic. I wonder if my butt looks good. I'm gonna go check the mirror, be right back. This is definitely a jean that I would size down or Maybe I could wear a belt with it, but there's just like so much extra up here. It's not good. If you want like a looser fit, I would size up. The 10 does fit me perfectly. I wouldn't size up in these. I think they'd be a little too big um, in the back. They're not giving as much as I thought they were gonna be giving in the back booty area, but they're still cute as hell. And my conclusion is since it's a wider pants leg, it's not gonna be firm like under here, but you can tell there's some junk back there, okay? All in all, solid pair of pants, definitely cute. Very happy that I tried them on because I low key love them and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. This is my pick. It's definitely less stylish. It didn't have like it, anything going on. No tears, no nicks. It feels like I'm wearing leggings, like I'm wearing jeggings, like denim leggings, like remember those? but these look a lot better. Like I can cross, like crisscross applesauce easily and like sit down on the couch without having to unbutton my pants after dinner. These are your just classic, normal skinny jeans. It just feels like they're already stretched out and kind of falling down off of me. And maybe that's because it is like super stretchy, less denim, more, more spandex. A slight waist thing, but in comparison to the other one, I'm just shocked because why would the mid rise have more of a problem than the high-waisted. Like that's some sort of science I'm just not understanding. At the very bottom, there's not seams, it's kind of a cut. So there's room for it to like tear and have like a little bit of that distressed look at the bottom, which I don't mind, I really, really like. Honestly, everybody needs one pair of high-waisted skinny jeans that are soft and like really comfy and like you could definitely wear these every single day. Like I can't express to you the comfort that these feel on my bare skin under here. And considering we've lived in a year where jeans were kind of like, like a naughty word, they were like a four letter word like we weren't supposed to say, I would wear these like all day. One thing that I don't like about jeans that are like so fat, like stretchy like this, is that it crumbles up in the front and it gives you like that weird V. And we don't, we don't want that. We don't want the fupa showing, ladies. Come on now. Unless you do, then I mean, go off sis, I love you. They're easy to pair with like t-shirts, a sweater, a jacket, and some kicks. Very simple, very easy. These are the type of jeans that I love. If you're just looking for your everyday, regular skinny jeans, these are the ones. The only thing I would change would be to size down so that it's just a little more fitted in the waist. Otherwise, you could probably throw a belt on. Oh wait, there's some TikTok hack. That looks a little strange, but it did kind of cinch the waist up nicely. Oh my God, wow. I say I would have sized down to a 14 for myself. I don't know if they had these in a 15, but I honestly think 14 would have been just fine, two sizes down, because there is so much give. Really good stretch. I would even think if you're between sizes, maybe size down at these. I feel like these are the type of jeans that after wearing them all day, might feel a little stretched out, so you could afford to have them a little bit tighter in the morning if that's your preference. And then if I pull them up too high, they're like midway. Like I know my shirt's tough, but like, guys, if you, like, guys, <laughs> come on net, like, Steve Urkel, hello. I really feel like my butt is being supported, but that's what my husband's for to compliment my butt and support me. Um, again, I don't think I would change the fit at all. This is nice. This is, it's like really flattering. It's really good. It's a really good pick. I feel like these jeans are kind of like those universal jeans that everybody needs in their closet. And these are 20 bucks. So 
even if you only own them for a year or so, you would get your complete and total wear out of them. Overall, I am pleasantly surprised. I liked a lot of things that I didn't think I was gonna like. I mean, you really can't go wrong with Target, right? Lesson of the day, Target jeans are bomb. Now let's see everyone's favorites. Let's go. another episode of five women try you know the drill if you liked any of these jeans we will have all the links for them in the description box below what other things do you want to see five different bodies try them on thanks so much for having me again clever style see you on the next one while we're obsessing over our new target jeans there is so much more where this came from so click right over here to watch even more videos on clever style and we'll see you guys next time love you bye